Gina Pearson still grieves for the angel on her shirt. I really don't think it's fully hit me yet. It's been nine months since her 18-year-old daughter Alyssa died from a drug overdose. Now this mother... Shock and disbelief. ...faces new heartache. Pissed off. 20-year-old Brian Varela stood in front of a judge Thursday after pleading guilty to manslaughter, rape, and unlawful disposal of remains. He admitted he gave Alyssa drugs that night, then raped her as she overdosed. He never helped and even sent photos to his friends mocking her as she lay there dying. Then he tried to cover it up. He could have done anything, but he chose to play a game and go to sleep. Alyssa's family and friends begged for a longer sentence. In my opinion, Your Honor, I believe Mr. Varela should receive the death penalty. Varela apologized. I'm sorry for my foolish actions. Whatever I get is what I deserve. In the end, he was sentenced to 34 months in prison, less than three years, the result of state sentencing guidelines. He had no criminal history. I, too, find the available sentence to be really inadequate. Gina used a different word. It's a joke. Three years for taking somebody's life, it's just a joke. Usually people who do stuff like this don't get away with a slap on the wrist. After all, she faces a life sentence. I just keep thinking I'll never see her again. And with the time Varela's already served at this point, he's looking at more like two years in prison or less with good behavior. Alyssa's family tells me they hope to take the fight to the state legisl legislature and challenge some of those sentencing guidelines.